Mostly sunny on this Tuesday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, light south winds. Light winds tonight, mid 60s, mostly clear skies. Some hot weather expected Wednesday and Thursday, low 90s, mostly sunny. Friday's going to be mostly sunny, about 90 to 95. An increasing chance of showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. Jones World, that's your KLEK 102.5 FM weather. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Ollie Barrett. The Afghan government says there'll be a temporary ceasefire with the Taliban to coincide with Eid at the end of the month of Ramadan. Spain's King Felipe VI has sworn in a new socialist government with a record number of women in cabinet posts. UK Prime Minister Theresa May and her Brexit Secretary David Davis have reached an agreement on a backstop plan to propose to the European Union. And the British nightclub owner Peter Stringfellow has died at the age of 77. It's 9.01. Community Conversations is brought to you by Arkansas Early Learning, offering no-cost child care in Jonesboro and Northeast Arkansas. Applications at arearlylearning.org. Arkansas Early Learning is a nonprofit organization. K-L-E-K L-P Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday to you. I hope that you're having a great start to your day. If not, you need to make plans to make it great. You're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm your host, Kabila Jones, and I have some very special guests with me in the studio today. We've been talking off air, and I'm already excited to get into this interview. We have Coach David Verdue. Mr. Larry McKissick and Mr. Johnny Daniels, and they are here from Way Beyond Measure. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. All right, so I am looking forward to hearing um, you all share more about this organization. But first, let's get into some personal introductions about you all. I'm um, sorry, Coach David. Let's go. All right. Hey, guys, my name is Coach David. Verdue. I am from the great state of California, the Bay Area. Uh, exciting about what's happening in the NBA because I am a Golden State Warrior fan. <laughs> and so it's exciting. Um, let's just get right into it. I, I was a school teacher. I was a school teacher for 27 years. Okay. And uh, during that time, um, there was a lot of things that I just recognized and I saw inside schools. And um, um, it, it's just been an amazing journey. After the 27 years of, of, of being in school, um, I was at Cal Farley's Boys Ranch. This is the largest um, um, mental health okay. uh, uh, family program, one of the largest in the nation. We had like 400 children from the age of 7 to 18, and we were able to speak in their life. Well, the, an assembly came to town and they purchased this assembly for our the Cal Farley's Boys Ranch and a, a, a couple came and they did an assembly and I looked at the assembly and I was like there was no oomph there was not a an educational force that was going to take the youth or the students to the next level and I started seeking and said I, I think I could do this and so about eight years ago we started way beyond measure and We've been in over 300 schools, over 300 churches nationwide. Um, we get to go in and communicate the importance of character. Okay. For the longest time, I remember being called the anti-bullying and the suicide awareness guy. Okay. Hey, there's the anti-bullying, there's coach, he's the anti bull We can't just lead with anti-bullying and suicide awareness, okay. and here's why. It leads to it, meaning the more we talk about bullying, all the students are going to say, I get, I get that. I understand that. I know what bullying is. I've been bullied. I've been a bully. Educate me on something that's going to prevent me from that. That's character. The great Martin Luther King Jr. said this. Intelligence plus character is the key to dominant 
education. Mm -hmm. And I think all of us can agree with that. Yes, sir. And so uh, we, 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 have, we have some great stories. And, and um, so along with myself, I have my national director with me, okay. uh, Larry McKissick, who, who in his own self has his own great story. Go ahead, Larry. All right. All right. My name's Larry McKissick, and I'm originally from Wynn, Arkansas. Okay. And um, I, uh, I, I just enjoy life, you know, um, and enjoy people. Uh, one of the things that uh, attracted me to uh, Way Beyond Measure is how Mr. Coach David Bredou just interact with the people okay. and, 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 you know, touch the heart of the people. And um, one of the reasons why I decided to be a part of Way Beyond Measure is my own personal experiences. Okay. Um, ten, ten months after my, my high school graduation, um, I was incarcerated. And, um, you know, so many different things happened in between then, uh, that time and, and, and now. And so now I'm able to to just go out and be a part of that and just share my story and my experiences okay. with with other people so i'm excited about being a part of way beyond measure and what way beyond measure is all about and you know uh, let's roll let's go let's go out and 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 help the children because it, because it's all about the children and your presence here is a testament to you having to change your character and who you are right uh, to be involved in this and to make a difference in other young people's lives <laughs> yes ma'am so it's it's way beyond measure is it's pretty much a platform for me okay you know because you know when society looks at my my past you know um it's like no we don't want to have anything to, to uh -huh. do with you you know they it's, it's like a strike against me already mm -hmm. you know um so now being a part of Way Beyond Measure, I can interact with the children and because you know, so many of us, so many of us have skeletons in our closet that we don't want to tell people about, right? Mm -hmm. And and so, uh, but the thing about the children, children are going through some of the same things that we've already went through. Mm -hmm. So. If we could share with them the things that we've already went through that they're going through, they can say, "Well, okay, I can, I can make it now because you've actually experienced what I'm going through." And a lot of times they don't want to hear you if you haven't gone through what they're going through. It's like I don't even want to have anything to do with you. Like, you know? like the kids say now, you have no street cred. Right. right. <laughs> oh man! Wow, street cred. That is good. That's good. Yeah, Larry brings a very uh, big dynamic because we all need a chance. We all need a chance to succeed. We all need to go. I remember the first time when he was sitting in the audience and I pointed out to him and I said, what are you doing and why aren't you helping? Right. Remember that? Right. Yeah. It was there. He'd been in Little Rock. That's right. When I first uh, heard him speak. Okay. And I was in the audience and just, I'm like, man, this, this guy right here is going off, you know. He's hitting, he's hitting everything, you know, uh, from a spiritual standpoint, from emotional, you know, um, just everything about who a person is and who a person can be, you know. And um, he he reached out to me, and I, you know, I was like, okay, yes, uh, let me get your contact because I want to talk to you too. Okay. And here we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> See, the thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we try to take people on an emotional roller coaster ride. And here's what I mean by that. Most of the time when people come and speak to you and talk, they um, sometimes they have an agenda or sometimes they have a, a certain um, point that they want to get across. Well, we do that in a very unique way. Loud music, okay. water, lights. What do you say? Movement. Water. Well, we uh, we splash people. <laughs> we make water disappear. 
See, everything that we do with an audience has to be compared to a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox or your drive through or your everything's quick, so make it to the point. Get me where I want to go. And so, okay, you want to get in? You want to go where you want to go? Strap in because Coach about to talk. Oh, wow. And when Coach starts going, then we got to get somewhere. See, you got to have momentum to get over the, the loops and the turns. And before you come to a stop, you got to be moving. And so what we do is we take them on that ride and we take them on the ride about who I am and now who they are. And so that's the transition I want to do right now. I want to talk about you, you, the listener. I want to talk about you because that's why we're here. See, it doesn't matter who or what you're going through. You can go way beyond measure. There is something inside of you that has been placed to make it. So I need you to be the one that says, I'm still here. And that's what we're about. Let's go check us out, waybeyondmeasure.com. And if you have any comments or questions, or you just want to share and say, how do I get you to our church, our school, our community? Um, how do I get you involved in the boys club, the YMCA? How do I get you involved in the Rotary Club? And, and our, we're having a parade and listen, we want to be where there are people, whether there's one or 100,000. We need to start changing the way we think. Okay. And that's me pointing to my forehead. Think <laughs> before we speak, act, do. I understand the daily grind. I understand who you are and what you need to do. You got to keep yourself motivated and prepared for things that come in and, and, and try to slap you around a little bit. You know, everybody goes through adversities. We, we do we see it every day. Yes, sir. Adversities in, in just our everyday life and, and, and our training, and, and it, it's not an easy thing to do. We are here to tell you, you can if you want to. A very simple saying that I learned when I was, uh, I, I, I used to coach for the Denver Nuggets and. 03 and 04 and we weren't very good and it was a great stepping place for me because all I was was an assistant to the head coach okay. um, and it was a it was a great time and yeah you know Carmelo Anthony and, and all the guys that I love basketball I know basketball I coach and, and um, someone said listen if you think you can you're right yeah. if you think you can't right. you're right <laughs> Right. Yeah. And so so we need to get through because really the biggest motivator in your life is you. Wow. Being able to look at you and tell yourself, I can't do it. Waybeyondmeasure.com. Here's that phone number if you want to contact us. It's 801-901-0996. Give us a call. It will go to an answering machine. Leave us a quick message. One of our representatives will get back to you. Can we get that phone number one more time? It's 801-901-0996. We have a few Facebook shout outs I want to give and comments. Um, we, of course, Mr. Terrell Jenkins is checking in. He says way beyond measure in the house. Uh, David Wagner gives a thumb up and he says way to go coach. Um, hello to Mr. Tier Hamilton, Cadillac Chris, and Terrell says, "Preach, Coach. He has the mic. You can get him." <laughs> Woo, man! Yeah, that's that's funny. Terrell Jenkins says, "Hey, be careful when you give Coach a mic." Okay. <laughs> Not be careful. I mean, he he says it in a positive way, but it, it's a it's a really good thing. I just want to influence people. I want to inspire them to influence others. Right. That's who we are at Way Beyond Measure. All right, and also Miss Mildred Jordan says awesome. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and supporting Kelly K and listening to Community Conversations. Please continue to drop your comments, or you can give us a call in the studio, 870-277-1080, and we'll be happy to address your comment on air. I would like to ask your son a question, if yeah, you don't mind. That's great. Um, how long have you been rolling with your dad doing these, this program? Well, I have known Coach David Berdue since I was 11 years old. My parents got divorced okay. a long time ago, and and then David came into my life, and we just sort of connected. We we bonded immediately. Okay. Um, 
and I've known about Way Beyond Measure since I think 2010. Okay. So I've been with it for a long time. When when I turned about 18 years old, 19 years old, I started traveling with them. Okay. To do shows with them, running the technology, running the uh, sound system, and the uh, projector and computer, and so that's really my job. And uh, when I was 18 years old, I got diagnosed with uh, mental illness. Okay. So I haven't had another job in a long time. This is working with Way Beyond Measure really puts me out of my uh, comfort zone, and it really it, it gives me so, a way to give to the community. Awesome. You know. So I'm so. sure, even though you're sometimes behind the scenes doing the technical stuff, I'm sure the information presented has made an impact in your life. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the way David puts it, he, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm freezing. That's okay, no problem. How do I put it? Come on, you keep saying it. <laughs> How do I do it? You, you say it's relational. That's you right. say it's, uh, it's about the relationships, and that, that really hits me hard, because that's what life is about. It's about our relationships with others. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could be the last person on earth, what would you do? Right. I mean, you could do anything, but it's, there's no point to it. There's no one else. There's right. no one to share the fun with. Okay. That's good. I'm, I'm right. really proud of Johnny. Johnny has had some tough situations. So we get to go back. So my wife and I, we have a, a combined family, but Johnny is my son. Johnny, when he was younger. And David is my dad. Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. My wife and I have six children, and we fostered over 50 children. That's amazing. And in that time, you learn things, and you also walk in on things. And uh, we have seen attempted suicides. We've had to go, even with my own son, who's sitting next to me now. He was in a mental hospital for 10 days because of suicide and some other things. It is such a real issue that we cannot beat around the bush anymore. Let's talk about it. It's not just about awareness, but it's about your character, about how you can live and be. Because suicide is no respecter of persons. For instance, um, Miss Spade, which is David Spade's sister-in-law or sister, she started a... Uh, product line about seven years ago that went into the multi-millions, millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. She is a millionaire and you would think looking at her from the outside, no worries. Yes. Yesterday she committed suicide. Mm -hmm. uh, she's no longer with us. The pain is real and you can't get past it with money. You can't get past it with, with just having close-knit friends, it doesn't matter because at one point, you will be alone. That's right. So you've got to be able to have enough character in you to say, who am I doing this for? Why am I doing it? See, it's not the person that committed suicide that's hurting anymore. It's us left back here. It's, it's us back here. I want to ask you about... Um, concerning suicide, um, last year, leading up into parts of this year, bullying seemed to be at its all-time highest, and there were way too many reports of students under the age of, say, 12 committing suicide or attempting suicide because of the nasty things that their peers were saying to them. Um, I saw a report about a month ago, yep. a young child under like 12 committing suicide so when you speak to children at these schools how do you relay the message of character to them wow. where they can get it that's a great great thought it all starts with having them understand who they are as champions okay it's an individual moment so here's how i start my assemblies these next 45 minutes is the most selfish assembly you'll ever have in your life because okay. it's all about you everyone say me 
me. me. That's right. So, so if you say me, that's a you, right? So as soon as I get them to say me, so it's about them. This next 45 minutes, I want you to think about you and who you are. Simple program we do is called Think. It's very simple for these young kids. You gotta think. be selfish for this. It's, be selfish about okay. it. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? Think. Okay. If you can think on these things and act on these things and tweet on these things and twerk on these things, might not necessarily <laughs> twerk, but you know what I'm saying. Click, snap, tweet, twerk, write, speak. All the things that it's 247. Now, listen, when I was in the 80s and I left school and I got bullied at school, that's it. Whoosh. There was no text, tweet, Instagram, computers. Yeah. You know, I can't, I'm not going to hear from you again until tomorrow. <laughs> so when I get home, I'm going to try to get more filled up to come back. Mm -hmm. That's what church is, by the way. Church is your fill up station. You're not supposed to hang out, it's your fill up spot so you can get out because there are more people need to hear. Mm -hmm. Just saying. That's what school is supposed to be is your, is your, is your, is your fill up with education. When you get home, you're supposed to fill up with character. And then you can go back so you can educate again. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So the dilemma is we have to help them understand who they are. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Do me a favor. Think on these things. When you think, before you speak, write, act, tweet, post, click, snap. Think. I think you're going to have a... Uh, a serious character awareness issue if wow. you do that. All right. Well, we're getting ready for our first break. That's a great stopping point. And we have one more comment from David Wagner who says, Coach, you saved my son from suicide and we are forever grateful. Amen. So that is a great stopping point. Look, you're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. You do not want to miss the rest of the show, so stay tuned after these announcements. We'll be right back. You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back. Are you feeling parent pressure? I'm Mark Merrill with today's Family Minute. No, not peer pressure, parent pressure. You know, pressure to allow your child to do things that other parents are letting their kids do. Watch movies, listen to music, and wear clothes that are inappropriate for your child. The right decision for your child is usually the road not taken by many. It's sometimes a hard and lonely road for a parent, but one that is more likely to lead to a good life for your child. So make a destination choice for your child. Not the one that will win your child's friendship, but the one that will take your child where you want them to go. Remember, your family first. Want to connect with Mark on Twitter? You can. Follow him at twitter.com slash Mark Merrill. Family Minute is made possible by the Kappa Nu Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, a nonprofit organization committed to service to all mankind. Kappa Nu Omega Alpha Kappa Alpha on Facebook and K N O M E G A 1908.com. Family Minute is brought to you by the Gears Foundation, a nonprofit organization providing students with assistance in their academic and career pursuits. Gears Foundation on Facebook. Gears underscore Inc. on Instagram and the Gears Foundation at gmail.com. Meineke of Jonesboro is now Starks Auto Service, a full service auto repair and vehicle maintenance center offering engine and transmission repair, brake service, tires, oil changes, and more. Performed by ASE certified mechanics. Starks Auto Service, 2813 South Caraway Road in Jonesboro, 870-204-7112. Starks Auto Service, jonesboro.com. The IHS BTW Reunion of Classes is July 13th through 15th, 2018 and features a variety of activities for the entire family, such as a golf tournament, banquet, luau party, semi-formal dance, memorial service, movies, games, skating, and more. The 
IHS BTW scholarship recipients will also be announced. Ticket and other information for the reunion events is available via Norma Farrell, 870-316-3746, or Jan Strong, 501-762-7860. Arkansas Early Learning prepares children up to five years old for kindergarten by offering a secure learning environment. Qualified teachers at several locations in Northeast Arkansas at no cost. Applications are available at arearlylearning.org. Arkansas Early Learning is a nonprofit organization. Hey ladies, it's Nettie Jones, the Girlfriends Therapist. I'm here with my girls, Elise Lyles and Brianna Hill, the Fab Squad. Hey. hey. We're coming to Jonesboro, KLEK 102.5 FM. So tune in every Wednesday from 10 to 11 to Your Life with Nettie Jones. We're living it fabulously every day. You don't want to miss it. Tell a friend. Hello, I'm Officer Victoria Evans. I have always had a desire to help others in need and to be an example and role model to young women by encouraging them to never give up on their dreams. My dream was to become a police officer and to serve my community. In 2016, that dream became a reality and it is the most rewarding experience of my life. Now I want to let you know about the same opportunity. The Jonesboro Police Department will conduct testing every month for patrol officers. Applications are available online at jonesboropolice.com or at the Police Department, 1001 South Caraway Work. The Jonesboro Police Department offers a competitive salary, health, and retirement benefits, top-of-the-line training, and most importantly, the chance to make a difference in the Jonesboro community. Join me in making Jonesboro a better place. The Jonesboro Police Department is an equal opportunity employer, and women and minorities are especially encouraged to apply. More information is available at 870-935-5657. Centennial Bank, member FDIC, is a customer-focused bank that provides a broad range of commercial and retail banking and related financial services to businesses, investors, individuals, and municipalities. Centennial Bank has nine locations in Northeast Arkansas, 870-268-2300, www.my100bank.com. The Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was established on June 28, 1997 by 13 dynamic women who accepted the challenge and honor of chartering the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter. Today, the chapter continues to impact the Jonesboro community by sponsoring programs such as the Sonia D. Williams Scholarship Breakfast, Back to School Bash, Disaster Preparedness, Delta Academy, Empower African Girls, and Autism Awareness. Our focus correlates with the national theme, Uncompromising Commitment to communities, service, leadership, empowerment. Our chapter supports Delta's five-point programmatic thrusts, economic development, educational development, international awareness and involvement, physical and mental health, and political awareness and involvement. More information about the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated is available at www.jonesboroalumnidst.org or via email jonesboroalumni at live.com. And now back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. All right. Welcome back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm your host, Kabila Jones, and my very, very special guests are Coach David Verdue, Mr. Larry McKissick, and Mr. Johnny Daniels. Look, if y'all missed the first part of the show, we're not backtracking. You just have to go watch the video later, but... It's been on fire so far, and I know it's gonna just get better Come from on. here. <laughs> All right, so we. Oh, ended... have we started? Yeah, so we oh, started. Oh, we did start. Okay. So we I'm ended just... the last segment <laughs> uh, talking about the acronym Think, and so um, I want to go back into you are a champion because you were talking about how you relate to the children in yes. um, the various schools that you go and speak to and how to get them to understand character from their perspective. That's right. That's good. So here's what, here's what we come up with. Everybody thinks that it's always about the assembly. Okay. The assembly is just entertainment. Okay. Because all, all we're doing is we're, we're trying to entertain them and move them for a memory. So everything that youth or children or families are looking at now have to be based on memory. So 
let's go build a memory vacation let's go to the park let so everything needs to be based on that memory is also relational meaning mom dad kids children aunts uncles brothers cousins whoever it is okay. family friends whatever it is so we're, we're relational how do you purposely show character just like that you show it okay. you stay when you get to the school and you say give me five children i don't want the five elite dynamic i want five of row i want those i want them children and listen the girls are in that part too so we get five and now i'm just going to speak into their life go get my speakers and they're going to help me set the stage up they're going to help me set my magic stuff up because this ain't no secret okay why would i why would i keep kids don't like secrets no they don't and you know well <laughs> Well, uh, coach, when you get here, we'll make sure that all the kids are <laughs> not in the room. And so, no, uh -huh. I want all the kids. Well, we eat breakfast and while we're eating breakfast, can you set the stage up? We'll have the curtain closed. I said, no, <laughs> let's open the curtains up and go get me a, a hash brown and a, one of those stick French toast pieces. <laughs> and I said, let me eat with them children and, right, and let me right. show you. And, and they're like, who are you? And I said, I'm coach. And I said, I'm gonna do an assembly. And, and they're like, oh wow, you're cool. And we eat and we, I dip food and we play and we high five. And then when I'm up on stage, the kids point at me. Okay. I know him <laughs> because we just met. It's about being touchable. Okay, it's about right. being real. These business cards, see them, they're imagining. Yeah. <laughs> I hand out, how many cards do I give to kid? Everybody. Every yeah, kid that wants my home cell phone number, <laughs> my number, anything, I give it to them. Got to be touchable. I'm not, listen, I'm not, whatever, we'll, we'll just throw it out there. I'm not no Justin Bieber where you can't reach me. <laughs> you you can't, I'm just going with you. I didn't know who else to. Yeah, we'll use Justin Bieber. Ludacris, I don't know who, who we talking about, whatever it is, right? Anyone Ooh. famous. Tony Mack, <laughs> Toby, I mean. But anyways, we got to be able to be touchable. We got to be able to take selfies and do some photoshops and we need to be able to be fun and hilarious and, and build memories. And, and so character is based on relationships. So now all these kids that have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, they can find way beyond measure. Okay. And then when they send me a Snapchat, what am I doing, Larry? You don't send Snapchat back. That's a fact. <laughs> so so we we have our own multimedia department where someone takes I mean, I know I have a face for radio, but I got to, you know, you take pictures of, of and they they see a Snapchat back, they're like, wait a minute. Don't no this guy's famous, not really. But that's what they think and I'm okay with that. And he's sending me a video or a snapchat or I told them I'd send them back the picture of us being selfies okay. I am the king of selfie okay. and, and and we send it back to them and they're like I never nope I in a hundred years I never thought you'd send me anything because I thought you're too busy wow. or or then the letters that we receive and so um, man it, 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 it's just you I don't have another I just don't have a better job this is the greatest thing ever our biggest dilemma has always been, and with most nonprofits, is our funding. So most schools will say, hey, how much? And they say, well, this is how much it is. Oh, no, wow, that's a lot. It's really not, because if you break it down, it's like a dollar a child. Okay. Well, let me show you how we can get involved. We have communities that there's contractors and there's construction workers, which is the same thing. There's bakers, there's, there's bankers, there's mom and pop stores. And so what we do is we simply do this. For every, for Jonesboro, let's talk Jonesboro. Jonesboro, $5 a month, $10 a month will get way beyond measure into your schools every year from now on. So okay. if, if, if everybody does a little, okay. $5, $10, if a, 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 a cor corporate office or just a mom and pop store can do $50 a month, we'll come into schools okay. all over this nation. 
That's how we get it done. The schools can say, okay, I can pay this much. Okay, well then let's get your community involved because that's where we come together. You see, that's what we need to do. We need to come together as a group and and combat and, 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 and help one another as a community. And what a proud moment for a, uh, a, a restaurant to say, and to put up a banner that says, Suso, stand up, stand out against bullying and teen suicide with a Way Beyond Measure logo and their logo on it so that people can go, what, what do you do? Yes, we, we support. that's right. We help support and we help reach at least 100,000 students every year so that we can combat what's going on. And so that's what's really exciting. Again, you can donate, you can be a part of our team and go to waybeyondmeasure.com, click on that donate button, tell us where you're from. It goes towards your community and we want to be there. Clubs, boys and girls clubs, YMCA's, church groups from birth to 100 years old. Boy, we just want to get in front of people and let them know that they are champions. They can do what they want to do and uh, we have a, a, a dynamic message. And another great thing is um, we know the man. Meaning this, we know who our source is. We are Christ-centered. We are relational. We don't want to make it weird, but we do love the Lord with all our hearts and souls and minds. We just need to go in like stealth bombers into these schools and let them know that there is somebody that cares and wants to share. All right, so... And David Wagner says, Coach, you have my permission to share my story. Well, I'm sorry, we're a little bit ahead of you. <laughs> we're a little bit ahead of you, Mr. Day Derek, but thank you so much for allowing us to share the story of your son um, and how Coach was able to help you all. We also have a message from Mr. Mark Pillow. I once read that girls who do sports have a huge statistical advantage in that they suffer much less abuse than girls who do not participate in sports. Is this still true? And is it the sport itself or the good coaches? Wow. <laughs> That's a great question. Boy, I think that if you were to do statistics on being a team member and not being a team member, I get that. I do get it. I think that everybody needs to be part of something. Okay. You know, we all, whether it's the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, a team, uh, whether it's athletics or if you're part of your youth group or whatever it is. Okay. That's the dynamics of today is that we, everything's 247. So what they really want you to do is they want you to get involved in one thing. So that's where we are nowadays is, hey, if you're a good soccer player, stay, stay in soccer and stuff. But the question about the girls, is it more dynamic? No, it's not. And here's why. 24-7, Facebook, chat, line, it just, there's no end. You can't. Everything that your thumb tweets and everything <laughs> that your mouth speaks is life and death. Salt or pepper, whatever you want to call it. Life and, I hate pepper. So, but some people love pepper, but hate salt. But I'm just saying. I like pepper. You like pepper, right? Yeah. But I, what I'm saying is life and death is in, not just in the tongue anymore. Right. It's in yeah. your fingers and in your fingertips because we're instant 247 and that's just the way it is. Nobody's immune to it anymore. So I take it like this before I dump water over a principal's head. <laughs> I bring him up on stage and I ask the children and it never fails. Listen, hear the question. It's pouring rain outside, and me and the principal go outside. Who gets wet? They say the principal. Do you see what I'm saying? Hmm. There's no respect. To, rain ain't going to go by past me. Right. <laughs> you even shared something about you know some family member of yours, and it, there's no respecter of person. It will get on you, and when it gets on you, it's not easy to get off. We deal with mental health issues every day. It's a multi-billion dollar industry when it comes to medication and where we are in society today. And so um, we, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do and that was a great question, but no, girls that are part of a team um, are not immune to anything anymore. Okay. Back in the day when team really meant 
sticking together, mm -hmm. that was that was a dynamic time. Okay, because like you mentioned before in the first uh, segment, eventually you're going to be alone. You're with your team for the moment, and you're eventually going to be alone. And so, no matter how great of a player you are, you might if you're a volleyball player. I love volleyball. <laughs> um, great you might just spike everything of all that comes your way. However, you're still not going to be good enough for somebody else. That's right. They're still going to find some way to pick at you. And now, kids have a way of doing these memes. Uh, they can put your face in this situation, or you, you know, and yep. it's horrible. That's right. Absolutely horrible. And so overnight, there's this viral picture going around or video that someone made up maliciously to tear you down because you're a great player or you're smart or whatever the case may be. There's always somebody, isn't there? There's always. <laughs> always. <some>. So <laughs> we, there's a victim and there's a bully. The problem is, is a lot of victims are bully. So the bully is also a victim. And so we go back and forth and it's like, who's the bully, who's the victim, who's the victim, who's the bully? Well, listen, all of us have gone down that road. It's a matter of using your words and saying, not just I'm sorry. Sorry is such a word that is watered down nowadays. <laughs> Say, yes, yes, young man, you're sorry you got caught. I understand that's why you're here, right? Well, no, I just, listen, here's what I'd love for you to tell me. I'd love for you to tell me that I'm sorry I need to make a change. Change needs to take place in order for us to move to the next dynamic. Okay. And that's what we need to teach our youth and stuff to, to, to get it. As a matter of fact, change. I want, I want Larry to share a little bit about change as it pertains to um, not just mental health, but as, as health too, because he's got a tremendous story because he was pushing <laughs> a lot <laughs> of bills. Go issues. ahead, buddy. Well, so I met Coach David Perdue at a uh, event. It was a Total Life Changes event, okay. and Total Life Changes a health and wellness company. And um, and so since I've been with Total Life Changes, uh, I've lost a lot of weight. You okay. know, I've lost over sixty pounds, and awesome. um, I went from size four X shirt to extra large shirt, and. You know, pan size from 48 to 38, uh, no more medications, Amen. you know, so just uh, excited about that change. But you think about the, the name of it, Total Life Change, it just don't uh, deal with health, you know, because if you feel better healthy-wise, you, you know, it makes you feel better about yourself. Okay. You know, and so as it relates to uh, way beyond measure, because for me personally, there is a relation. Because, you know, uh, we, we say that there's a hashtag that we have out with Way Beyond Measure, and we said stop the bully. Okay. You know, um, so let's not just focus on the victim. Let's focus on, you know, uh, the bully. Okay. Okay, so how do we stop the bully from bullying this child who may be obese? Okay. You know? So for me, being with the health and wellness company, I want to, you know, focus in on, okay, if I can help this child uh, lose weight and be healthier, well, that bully can't call that child fat or, you know, anything like that now. So that bully has to come up with another, <laughs> another way. So uh, with, with Total Life Changes, we want to, you know, uh, let the parents know that our products are child friendly. Okay. You know, so the, the products does work. So That's right. uh, let's, let's have a Total Life Change, you know, and, and because of it, it, Total Life Changes, uh, it's going to allow me to be able to do what I'm passionate about doing. Mm -hmm. And that's dealing with our young people. So you it's know. not just about the physical health. You use that opportunity to discuss their mental, address their mental health, Come on. Mm -hmm. and do That's some right. character building as well. Right. Yes. Okay. And from your experience, all of you all dealing with people who have admitted to being bullies, mm -hmm. and over the course of your um, of dealing with them, and maybe coming back around and having a repeat session, have they since changed their ways and mindset? Oh my goodness. 
We've got so many great stories. Uh, Paris, Arkansas, Boonville, Arkansas. In Boonville, there was a big viral video that went out nationwide. Oh. And nobody understood it, but it was a cousin and his, it was two cousins, and they were play fighting, and they thought it was a real big boom, crash bang boom. And it just so happened to be in front of the Boonville High School sign. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. And so they thought it was a big high school thing. So they sent us in, and we actually talked to the two that we're having, and we got to go back on the air and explain to people, listen, what you saw was a viral video of two family members having a heated discussion with their fists. Very heated. It was something else. <laughs> we were able to go in and squish all of those rumors okay. and echo. See, that's what it is. See, there's gossip, rumors, and echoes, and, and that's what we teach the younger ones, too, is how to squish them. That's SUSO, stand up, stand out. Okay. Our, uh, one day, if you're a drawer and you're a cartoonist or you can do some drawing and stuff, we are going to be doing a program called Super Character Dude, which okay. all of them have been developed, and we're going to have these uh, real short 17-minute videos and programs for for, for young kids so that they can start to grow. Like, what does it look like to share on the swing set? What does it look like to, uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. We're excited about that. Our curriculum writing actually starts on Monday. I have uh, a great writer coming in. She is um, our COO, Amber. Um, and Amber is going to be helping us write all this new curriculum that's going to be going nationwide to all the schools to help combat the bullying, suicide awareness. Because we want teachers to have more um, information, more arsenal on their side so that we can come together as a community and do the things that we're um, called to do. All right, so again, you're seeking artists for a project called? It's a Super Character Dude. And uh, we're looking for cartoonists or, and uh, so, well, there's, there's so many opportunities with Way Beyond Measure. Call us, get involved. We, we're looking for representatives in every city. We're looking for people. There's school everywhere. There's schools everywhere. There's communities everywhere. There's churches and buildings. And not, not only that, but this summer is a great time. Um, I coached with the Denver Nuggets at the NBA. I also was a professional soccer player. So oh. let's do a sports camp. Let's do something dynamic that's very inexpensive, that we can get kids out there, and we can kick a ball around, we can do some plyos and metrics, we can do some fun things. But they're not just going to get that. They're not just going to get physical. They're going to get mental also because yes. I can't not stop talking. I don't know if you know that, but, but I need to speak into people's lives. And, and they're so dynamic. They're such an awesome, awesome group that, listen, again, wherever there are people, and you want to influence them, that's what Way Beyond Measure is. Waybeyondmeasure.com, 801-901-0996. I'll, make, and I'll put the information in our Facebook live stream so people can find you and I'll go to your Facebook. I know you have a Facebook page. That's how I found out more information about you. So um, I'll share the link to your Facebook page. You have a website. Um, we're getting ready for our next break. So I'll just... Uh, trying to give, make sure everybody get this information. I'll have some business cards here in the office, and so there are all types of ways to get in touch with Mr. David and Mr. Larry and Mr. Johnny. Um, we get you to the right people. <laughs> we want everyone's life to be impacted by the message they have to share. No one should have to live in silence. No one should have to suffer in silence. No one is alone. <laughs> no one. All right. We're going to take a quick break, but please do not go anywhere. We'll be right back after these announcements. You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back. We're back with Money Matters. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. Here are my latest recommendations for your Money Matters reading list. Author and entrepreneur Thea Viona Muhammad's mission is to inspire parents and other adults to raise black children to become wealth builders. She uses her website, RaisingBlackMillionaires.com, and weekly podcasts to showcase the wealth building wisdom of black entrepreneurs and professionals. 
In her book, How to Raise Your Black Child to Be a Millionaire, Muhammad picks the brains of such accomplished wealth creators as master networker George C. Frazier, Black Enterprise 100 CEO Michael V. Roberts Sr., and top corporate CEO Keith R. Weish. Her primary questions include, how does one learn about money and wealth building? How do you pass on those lessons to your children? The answers to these questions make her book a great read for parents and anyone else invested in the financial success of future generations. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. for Money Matters, a product of American Urban Radio Networks. Money Matters is made possible by the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a nonprofit organization dedicated to uncompromising commitment to communities. Service, leadership, empowerment. www.jonesboroalumni.dst.org. Money Matters is brought to you by Bancorp South, offering checking, savings, loans, credit cards, and wealth management. Five locations in Jonesboro to serve you. www.bancorpsouth.com or 870-972-9800. Money Matters is brought to you by the Gears Foundation, a nonprofit organization providing students with assistance in their academic and career pursuits. Gears Foundation on Facebook, Gears underscore Inc. on Instagram, and the Gears Foundation at gmail.com. KLK 102.5 FM will host our first annual Juneteenth celebration. Saturday, June 16th, starting at 10 a.m. at University Heights Lions Club Park by Success School in North Jonesboro. There will be speakers providing educational information, performances by local dance teams, poets, and musicians, along with food, bounce houses, and games for the whole family to enjoy. We would love for the community as a whole to be a part of this celebration. If you would like to be a part of our Juneteenth celebration, visit our website, klekfm.org, or call us at 870-203-9951. The KLEK Juneteenth celebration is sponsored by St. Bernard's, the Multicultural Center of Arkansas State University, Bank Corp South, Jonesboro Police Department, DARE, and Spacewalk of Jonesboro. KLEK thanks C.J. Pepper and the staff of Life Strategies Counseling Incorporated for helping people through hard times in life such as depression, family issues, stress, abuse, and more. They offer counseling and therapy for all ages, individuals, families, and groups. They are located at 1217 Stone Street, phone number 1-866-972-1268, or online at lscihelp.com. Teresa Beck, owner of Full Sun Gifts, 606 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, is a proud supporter of KLEK. Full Sun Gifts offers a variety of gift ideas, such as candles, fragrances, bath and body products, makeup, cosmetics, skincare, and more for birthdays, weddings, holidays, and all occasions. Details at Full Sun Gifts on Facebook and Instagram and 870-974-8480. The Mu Omicron Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated was established on January 1, 1977. Originally serving Blytheville, Arkansas, and now serving Jonesboro, Blytheville, Osceola, Marion, and West Memphis, Arkansas. Today, the chapter continues to make an impact by focusing on Alpha's national community outreach initiatives, such as My Brother's Keeper, A Voteless People is a Hopeless People, Go to High School, Go to College, Project Alpha, Boy Scouts, and the March of Dimes. The Mu Omicron Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated is committed to Alpha mission of developing leaders, promoting brotherhood and academic excellence, while providing service and advocacy to the community. More information about the Mu Omicron Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated is available at MOL Alphas on Facebook or via email at molalphas at gmail.com. The McDaniel Law Firm, 400 South Main Street in Jonesboro, is a firm believer in justice and equality for the minority community. The McDaniel Law Firm has fought for our rights for over 44 years. The McDaniel Law Firm offers legal help for wrongful death, as well as trucking and automobile accidents. Bobby and Brett McDaniel are available for a free consultation at 870-336-4747 or at www.mcdaniellawyers.com. The key to making this station even better could be parked in your driveway right now. Donate your old car to us, you'll get a tax deduction, and we'll tow it away for free. Go to klekfm.org for more information. 
The Epic Center, located at 1899 Hasbrook Road, County Road 333, is Jonesboro's newest venue for entertainment for the entire family. They offer an auditorium with theater-style seating for up to 1,100 guests. A large stage, professional lighting and sound, dressing rooms, concessions, and more. Available for weddings, concerts, pageants, birthday parties, showers, and more. Booking and other information is available at Epic Center Jonesboro on Facebook, epiccenterjonesboro.com, and at 870-530-5841. And now, back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. Welcome back to Community Conversations on KLDK 102.5 FM. I don't know about you, but I have truly, truly, truly enjoyed my guests today. They have been hilarious, but at the same time very real and shared some very real important information on anti-bullying, suicide um, awareness, character awareness, and so much more. And I can't thank you all enough for being here today and sharing this wonderful, valuable information it's been a pleasure to be here um i um there's no place and no distance too far so we we got up this morning at about 5 a.m and drove here from russellville just to be on this hour talk show because people are worth it you're absolutely worth it and we need you we need you to be part of our team because there's absolutely no way we can get this done alone i don't know your name i don't know your schools um, but if we get in there i promise you this it will be dynamic because we're studied, we're ready, we, we have the curriculum, we have the program in place, it has been established, and we have the backing as far as other schools okay. that say it works. And we're excited. So all from California to Colorado to Texas, Alabama, um, we're, we're all over the place, Tennessee. Um, what, what an exciting time to, to get it done. So. This last part of, of our program, I just want to talk about how we can do it together. Okay. Because together we do it better. Together we can do it, um, 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 get much more done. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't know your community. I don't know your church, but maybe your church is doing a vacation Bible school this summer and you want to pick it up a notch. Uh, not saying I'm any better, but having an echo is always, mm -hmm. always, always better. So. Uh, from this point on, I just want to let you know that uh, joy, peace, love, patience, and kindness is what we all need to strive after. We need to go for it hard. We need to, um, to, to serve. Uh, last thought on mine, and I'm going to let Larry say a last thought too, um, is, oh boy, I lost it. Anyways, get after it. Okay. <laughs> go hard. Do your thing. All right. One, one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, for me, you know, I don't know everything. I don't know all that Coach David Purdue know, knows, but I, I know people and I know we are dealing with a lot of things. And we just want to get out and make the right connections and let's come together and let's save our children. Amen. You know, let's do it. Let's stop talking about it. Let's let's stop being reactive and let's be proactive. Okay. And way beyond measure is ready to do it. Let's start rebuilding our communities and our family and redefining what that means for ourselves. That's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. I, I love it. Listen, there's two things that you're doing. You're building or you're destructing. So let's learn to build bridges and not turn them down, shall we? Amen. Mr. Johnny, you want to have a final thought in our last, like, 40 seconds? Um, I, I don't really have anything to add. I think they covered everything. Well, I just thank you for being such a young man and being a part of this. And hopefully your presence is making an impact on other young people that um, you all encounter on a daily basis. So thank you for that. That's thank right. you. The, the cool thing is, is Johnny, you're still here after all the things that he's gone through. And I'm very proud of him. Johnny, I'm proud of you for being here and to, to never giving up. I, I can't do this without you, buddy. All right, so with that being said, this has been Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. Make plans to make today great, and remember, it doesn't cost anything to be kind. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. 